Today is a beautiful autumn day in Yerevan. Me and my Boreo woke up next to each other for the first time and still can't believe it's real. In the last episode, we traveled several thousand kilometers to meet in Armenia after a long conversation on the internet. For breakfast, we decided to cook dumplings, which we bought at the local store. Mm, what is it like? Like what? And the Philippines? It's like... Mm, <laughs> we call it shomai. It's like it's like uh, it's Chinese word for dump uh, this kind of dumpling. But we um, eat it with, uh, with soy sauce and lime. It's really good too. But we we don't boil it. We just steam steam. Я купил вот такие огурцы маринованные. И для меня они довольно очень острые, потому что я не заметил, что там есть перцы. Но Дарлин говорит, что это вообще не острое. Хотя она прям берет вот этот вот перец и ест. А я тут вымачиваю их в воде. Прям ест этот перец. To better feel the taste of the country we arrived in, we went in search of the Armenian Goom Market. During the Soviet Union, on the site of the current bazaar, there was a State Department store Goom. And nearby, in the open air, people traded their goods. After the collapse of the USSR, the store stopped working. The merchants moved into the building and soon this place became a food market but the name remains the same. The atmosphere here is welcoming. Sellers call us to treat us with their fruits so that we can better examine and evaluate their goods. We bought plates of dried fruits and continue to walk between the rows of sweets, spices, and other products that this Oriental Bazaar has. Right here, you can make fresh pomegranate juice or wash vegetables and fruits for you. Мне все нравится. Вы сказали мягкий, поэтому... Нет, бывает мягкая, но другой сорт видно. А это хурма, а это королёк. А это не хурма? Это хороший, внутри как шоколадный. Не вяжет, это хороший. А не такой поставлю, а не такой. We bought the local pomegranates, persimmons, apples, pears, peaches, as well as chichella and pastilla. After walking around the market, we returned to the apartment and sat down at the table to taste the Armenian fruits and delicacies. I love fruits. In my country, there are many tropical fruits all year round. But persimmons, peaches, pomegranates do not grow there. So I will try these fruits for the first time. And eat like this. Yes, but uh, be careful. Uh, maybe this and um, I don't know. Don't eat the skin. Uh, this. Uh huh. Uh, okay. What is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay. okay. I like it. Tastes like mango, uh, a little bit. A little bit. Yes, it's sweet and um, cold. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's cold. Cold, here. yeah. Hmm. It's not sweet. It tastes like yogurt. Mm. <laughs> like this yogurt and this flavor. Grusha in Russian. How in English? It's pear. What? Pear. Pear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. But yes? pear in my country uh. it's just uh, like yellow, uh, green yellow. color. Yes. But yeah, this yeah. one. And green mm -hmm. uh, sometimes. But this one is. Mm, has a red in it. Too. And in the Philippines have this? No. 
Hmm. Just yellow and a little um, greenish color. Yeah. But I think it's will it will taste like Hmm, yes, it's good. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like? Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh Chuchiela. Chuchiela. It is from uh, juices, mm -hmm. uh, different juices. Uh, Like orange. Like orange. Mm -hmm. This one. Mm. Mm. Like gummy fruit. <laughs> like gummies from fruit. <laughs> That's good. It's really good. Is this fruit? I think it's mushroom. <laughs> This is apple. <laughs> it's apple? Yeah. Really? Uh, they uh, told. You won't be full of fruits and sweets alone. So we decided to have lunch at the same time. For meat and croutons, Boya bought horseradish and mustard. Filipinos love spicy food. But I never had this kind of spices before. Mm -hmm. It's just bitter. Not spicy. Just Not bitter. spicy. Mm -hmm. Bitter. Mm -hmm. Take garchitza. Garchitza. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I know this. You know? Mm -hmm. With bread too. You can with bread or with meat. How you want. You know this? Mm. <laughs> Spicy. It's mustard. No, it's not spicy, but I inhale uh, <laughs> some of it. <laughs> and like it, it uh -huh. through my nose. Nose. It's not spicy. You like it? <laughs> Later, we decided to cook something together. We got a pizza recipe from Boria's mother on the phone and got down to business. While Boria do not know English well, often we can't find words quickly enough to explain something. But sign language helps us to understand each other and do not feel tension during communication. Yeah, 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 yeah. We melted half a pack of butter in a frying pan added half a liter of sour milk, a teaspoon of soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and mix thoroughly so that the soda and the sour milk extinguish each other. It remains to add only flour and the dough is almost ready. In the Philippines has many different types of flour and ways to make sweet delicacies. I am making pizza dough for the first time and is excited to try new things. I love to cook and often cooks for my family when I am at home. I don't know much about baking, but I like to watch cooking shows on the TV. When I was growing up, my family did not have an oven to bake something. I remember a dish of glutinous rice and coconut milk, stuffed in bamboo and baked by the fire. There was no rolling pin in the kitchen for rolling out the dough, so we find a way and replace it with a bottle of wine. We anointed the dough with tomato sauce, to which some vegetable had already been added. Slices of sausages and tomatoes steamed in a frying pan were laid out on top, then fried mushrooms with onions. We had fun making this pizza together. It turned out very nice and tasty. Oh, it is very tasty. 
By doing something together, we feel more comfortable and get to know each other more. Me and Borya enjoyed cooking and staying home more. We bond when we cook and eat home-cooked food together. And yet, we decided that tomorrow we will go for a walk around the city and visit the most recognizable landmark of the center of Yerevan, the Grand Cascade. Morning has come. Fog descended on Yerevan. I can take my time and soak up in the warm battery a little more. We waited until lunch for the fog to clear a bit and set off on our tour. At the foot of the cascade, we are met by the great Armenian architect Alexander Tamanyan. He thoughtfully bent over the plan of the city, lying on three stones. The architect combined the ancient traditions of Armenian architecture with modern achievements in the field of construction and turned the provincial town into modern capital Armenia. In Tamanyan's general plan, it was noted that at this place, there should be a solemn completion of the main axis of the city, a system of steep transitions, waterfalls and flower beds should pass through the slopes of the Kanakar hills and the upper and lower cities should be connected with each other by an escalator. The cascade resembles a multi-tiered pyramid with five open terraces. To climb to the very top, you will have to overcome more than 500 steps. If there is no time for such an ascent, then you can use the elevator inside the complex which will immediately raise two-thirds of the entire height. Each floor of the cascade has its own gallery which can be viewed for free. The museum also offers a varied program for lectures, films, concerts for adults and children. After a tedious but interesting ascent and descent of the stairs, we decided to find a place to rest and drink coffee. Near the cascade, there are several cozy cafes and restaurants serving Armenian dishes. We chose a small cafe called Cafe Melrose Avenue, ordered Armenian coffee and cakes. I love coffee very much. It is my favorite drink. Armenian coffee has a strong taste and is thicker than regular coffee. The perfect drink for cold weather. The manager of this cafe was very kind and gave us glasses of wine, Armenian cognac, and fruit platter, which we gladly accepted. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it smells so strong. I was afraid to try cognac. I was not used to drinking strong drinks, but nevertheless decided to try it. I clearly did not like this noble drink. It's so strong. I felt drunk after a glass of wine and a sip of cognac. And Boya finishes this elite drink for me. Today, real cognac is produced exclusively in two regions of the world. In France and Armenia. You make me.
before heading home, Boya decided to interview me about my day. I don't know. <laughs> what? We were there. <laughs> I am still embarrassed to speak in the front of camera because I was not used to it before. We're here at the cas... what is it? Cascade. Cascade. And uh, we took uh, videos <laughs> with my boyfriend and uh, we had uh, Armenian coffee. Is it Armenian? Armenian coffee and uh, wine <laughs> and uh, cognac. It was, it was very good day. <laughs> Cold. A little dry. Not like Philippines. No. In Philippines, uh, it is very tropical. It is uh, very hot in the summer, and uh, <laughs> and here it's very cold for me. It's like in the refrigerator, or maybe in the freezer. <laughs> and it's only autumn, not winter. Or maybe I will. <laughs> in winter, I don't know. <laughs> Armenian dog. <laughs> I don't know why dogs here in Armenia like really big. Our dogs in Philippines really small. They're not very friendly because they were okay. No. <laughs> it will bite me just one time and then I will. Okay. That's why. He's following me. No. <laughs> yes, he's following me oh my God. Baby, no! <laughs> On the way home, we accidentally missed our bus stop. It was an interesting experience for us because we don't speak and can't read Armenian. It takes time to adjust to life in other country. Sometimes, Boya and I discuss the differences between our countries and Armenia. For example, we noticed that in Armenia, in buses and minibuses, people pay for their fare only at the end of the trip. Finally, we returned home. Today was a great day. В Ереване утро, а я иду в аптеку, потому что Дарлин заболела. Может быть, вчера было или вино холодное, или потому что сидели на улице. Вот, поэтому сегодня как бы температура и горло болит. Я и поил ее. Конечно, чаем с лимоном и медом и молоко горячее закипятил тоже с желтком, с маслом, с медом. Boya bought a box of their flu, aspirin and some other medicines. I hope this helps and I will feel better soon. I drank this medicine and watched cartoons. I told Boya that Tom and Jerry was my favorite series as a child. Boya was busy in the kitchen cooking chicken soup for me. After dinner, we continued to watch TV, but this time, Boya decided to find something from their Soviet cinema for me. He was surprised that these films were not still dubbed in English, so he just turned on the subtitles for me. <laughs> I watched Russian films for the first time and liked them. After that, we watched with interest the rest of the film about Shurik, Nopogadi, Prostakwashina, and he was pleased to review these good films with me.
There was no electricity in the evening, so we lit candles for lighting. So suddenly, our dinner became romantic. We are grateful that we are together to experience everything, no matter if it's good or bad. In the next episode, we will explore other beautiful places in Armenia and take our relationship with Borea to the next level.